Which it is 8:49. Uh, until recently, you know, the headlines about stem cell re research and stem cell use derived from human embryos was very controversial. Well, now plastic surgeons are taking stem cells from your fat and using them for breast reconstruction. It's an amazing procedure that can make all the difference in the world for breast cancer patients. Joining us this morning here on the morning show, local plastic surgeons, Dr. Louis Obi and Dr. John Murray, who received the first FDA-approved fat processing unit. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Thank you. Dr. Obi, let's start with you. What makes this procedure different from what we've seen in the past? Because fat grafting actually goes back something like 100 years. That's true, uh, Bruce. It's, um, what makes it different is the processing of the fat. We actually, uh, instead of injecting the raw fat, we process it where we can eliminate the elements which are not useful and actually condense the fat into a stem cell enhanced product which has better uh, stay in power and also healing powers. Now we, we talked about the benefits for breast cancer patients. Um, there had been a lot of controversy about the use of implants and the, the implants rupturing, toxicity from them and things like that. This seems to be a, a viable alternative. How is this going to change the landscape for breast cancer patients? Well, it gives the uh, reconstructive surgeon and the respective patient a lot more options. Uh, first and foremost, we're using all of their own tissues. And we're doing that currently with autologous flaps, larger flaps from the back or the abdomen. But this actually is an outpatient procedure and using the same flap that we would otherwise discard with liposuction. Except now we're actually concentrating it, filtering it, otherwise not manipulating it and then infiltrating it into the respective area. Mm -hmm. So you said basically it's done on an outpatient basis. How long does the procedure take? It takes um, one to two hours. Which is a fairly quick amount of time. It is. Any uh, recovery issues for the patients or, or things that they've got to be concerned about? The recovery is fairly uh, quick because uh, it's non-surgical. Uh, they, they're, they have a little bruising from the donor site and the breast, and we usually restrict activities for about seven days, and then they can resume most activities. Uh, since this is a, a fairly new procedure here in the U.S., they've been doing it in South Korea for a while, I believe, right? Yes, for about eight to ten years. Dr. Lee and also in other parts of Asia and Europe, uh, there's a stigma regarding stem cells, and what we're using is basically condensed fat with increased concentration of stem cells. We don't alter the stem cells. We don't change them. We don't culture them. It's all done within one treatment. Uh, it's a closed sterile system. I think uh, Palomar has the only system of its kind. It's totally enclosed and totally sterile. Now, because it is fairly new, are insurance companies receptive to paying for the procedure? Well, we're currently working with insurance companies to improve that reimbursement because a lot of the reimbursement we've had historically has been based on less complicated transfer procedures using fat. So I think as more experience grows, then the reimbursement shall also follow. And, and Dr. Obi, uh, reaction from the patients after they've undergone the procedure when they thought that they were going to have to get implants and weren't really happy about it? We still are very early in the process, Bruce. We've only been doing this for two months, but based on other longer-term studies, uh, the response has been ex extraordinary. Uh -huh. And uh, we don't have the inherent problems with implants or the uh, invasive procedures of the autologous flaps. Uh, so uh, it, it's all done without surgery. All right. I um, want to let you know that uh, you, you probably want some more information about this. A little later this afternoon, we will get a link up to the good doctors on newsforjacks.com in our health section or uh, seen on four on the morning show page. So you can go ahead and follow through if you want to find out more about this procedure. Gentlemen, thanks very much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Meantime, at 8.53.